3D logo design from Golden Ratio? After a great deal of experience in making 3D logos, today I will show you, how fast and very precise you make Golden Ratio circles in one minute, how to make a 3D logo from the Golden Ratio circle. At the end I'll show you how to easily get a black and white logo. Make sure to watch the tutorial to the end, and do not forget to become my subscriber, and ask me anything in the comments section. Ok. We'll start here. At the beginning we draw golden ratio circles. Select the ellipse tool and draw a large circle in the middle. Turn off the fill and turn on the strokes. Select a circle. Go to the transform panel. Be sure to turn on, constrain width and height proportions. In a small box after the number that stands, enter divided with 1.618. This mathematical golden ratio. When any number is divided by 1.618, these two numbers are in the golden ratio. The same applies to size of geometric objects. After typing the number, hold Alt on the keyboard and press Enter. In this way, we create a copy of the circle as you see it. We have now selected a smaller circle and re-enter divided by 1.618. Hold Alt and press Enter. This procedure is repeated until we get 8 circles. But I do not need more than 6 for this logo. This is certainly the simplest fastest and most accurate way to draw a golden ratio of circles. You can share this method with your friends. It is important to know that the circles when they are drawn never reduce or increase each other individually, only together. We are making a frame from which we will draw a 3D logo. We select the second smallest circuit and select the second largest. Click on the vertical align top. I will delete the third circle, we do not need it. We are going to the line segment tool. Hold Alt and Shift and draw a horizontal line from the point at the top of the circle. Copy the line just below, we select the circle along with the line and go to the vertical align bottom. Then select a larger circle from the center together with the largest circle and go to the vertical align bottom. Now we have drawn the basic lines from which we will make a complete frame. Now it's becoming the most exciting with a little trick that I'll show you. Select a line, a small circle between the lines and the other line. Then select the circle below. And the most important thing is to select the largest circle. Right click, go to transform and click on the rotate. Enter 120 degrees and click on copy. Click on the keyboard together with Ctrl D, which is the precondition for repeating the last transformation. By selecting a large circle, we get the result that the lines and circles move and the right circle with the center of the circle is the axis of rotation. Try to do it without this trick. We managed to get a frame for drawing a 3D logo. The rest is just two more things to put in the right place. I take the smallest circle from the middle and place it in the left corner. To make sure it is leaning to the line, I use vertical align top. After that, I place it by leaning on the left line. I hold shift to move horizontally. I think it's good. Now I'm copying a small circle and putting it in a different position randomly. It is currently confusing. But you will soon find out what it's all about. I'm taking the line segment tool and I draw a straight line from the middle of an object to a small circle. The line should touch the circle. Then I draw a second line from half the other side of the object to a small circle. To make sure it touches the circle I have to zoom in. I put it in place with a white arrow. If you like the way I've explained up to now, become a subscriber and follow our latest Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Leave a like or comments. We're moving to the next step. We make the logo elements from the frame that we draw. Select all lines and circles. Take the Shape Builder tool. Click and move the line over the fields you want to keep. 
follow my drawing. We need this detail as well. We got the first element. Give him some fill color. Reselect everything, take the shape builder tool, and take the fields that you need for another element. I think it's completely clear to you why we've drawn all those circles and lines. I will now give real colors to work more easily. The colors that I used will explain later in more detail. Now you are sketching on drawing. On the element that we draw, I will do all the details and little things, then I will make the other two elements. Copy the upper element, hold Alt and Shift and drag it down. I give him some solid color and a 4 point stroke. Go to the main menu, object, and click on expand. OK. Then on pathfinders, click on trim. Ungroup and delete the stroke part. Now return this element to the first element. From this element we will draw a glare. The previous step was to create a 3D effect. You will see when you fill a part in the right color. Follow my steps of drawing a glare, I use the anchor point tools and the white arrow. It takes little experience to get these techniques. I recommend that you always practice this skill. I will draw this element so that it gives the impression of 3D. I draw it like this, probably comes watching natural behaviors of light. The reflection should look like this. I hope you managed to get this shape. We will now paint the shape into a gradient. Later, I will explain each color how to make. Set up some details if necessary. On elements that are manually drawn, you can work always. Copy the second element, hold Alt on the keyboard and drag. I need this object to draw a line of shine. I'll turn it into a stroke line. I take the scissors tool, I click to the left and right point, and carefully cut off the upper part of the line. I am delete the rest. Now I select the line and I go to the variable width profile and click on width profile 1. I return the element to its position exactly between the upper and lower elements. After that, Go to the main menu, Object, Expand Appearance. Color him. Now I select all the elements that we have made. Along with the elements, also select a large circle of golden ratio. Right click. Transform, Rotate. It should stand 120 degrees. Click on the copy. Now it is necessary to set the small element over the big one. I'll put a small element ahead. Right click, Arrange, Bring to Front. With the white arrow, I drop down the top points of the element. We already see the magic of creating a 3D logo design. Now the bottom element is our base for making the logo, we delete the top element. Selecting all parts of the element. We also select a large circle. Let's go, right click, transform, rotate, 120 degrees, copy. Click on the keyboard together with Ctrl D, which is the precondition for repeating the last transformation. Push only gray elements with a line of glare forward. If you like the way I've explained up to now, become a subscriber and follow our latest Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Leave a like or comments.
I invite you to visit our website, link is in description. You can find all our logos, with all the colors we use, and a little more. Also, you can find some of our logos that we have done to our clients. We continue to create a 3D logo design from Golden Ratio. Select all items that we have made. Hold Shift on the keyboard. Then click on everything else behind our logo and delete it. What's the impression? Now I will explain how I made the colors. In order to leave a strong 3D impression, the colors should be a gradient, which goes from some very bright to completely black. I did it here. We give the color the second element. As you can see it is light yellow and black on the other side. The third color was made in the same way. The shine is made of three colors, that is, of three white transparencies. The first is white with 80%. The other is 20%. And the third is zero. It is oriented from the upper left corner to the bottom right. The metallic gradient is oriented from the lower left to the top right. I made a metal color of three shades of gray. The first is 75%, then 10% and finally 100%. A radial gradient is used for a small shine line. The color makes two shades gray from brighter to darker. I hope you also get this result. If you have any problem or questions, you can ask it in the comments section. Now we've done everything except making 3D logo into one color. In order to do this we deleted all the elements that make the effects and leave only the basic elements. Then we give them some solid color. We select them all and give them a stroke of 10 points. We already see what we will get. Let's go to the main menu, object, and click on expand, OK. Then go to pathfinders and click on trim. Ungroup. Hold the shift and select the internal parts and delete the stroke sector. What remains is the logo in one color. You can fill it in any color. You can share this method with your friends. I hope you enjoyed. I expect to watch my previous tutorials, become a subscriber and follow our latest Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Leave a like or comments, 